Welcome to ZTV Presents Tech VR the episode. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to discuss about uh, how you can install um, customized, like vendor customized ESXi on a physical machine through remote um, remote console. So, uh, so for uh, Dell server, actually, they use iDrive and HP use um, ILO. So through ILO or through uh, iDrive, how you can install uh, ESXi. So but another important thing is, whenever you will install uh, the first ESXi on a physical machine, if you do the patching, in that case, you don't need to download from the vendor side. But the first time when you install in a physical machine, uh, you have to download ESXi from the vendor side, not, not from uh, VMO side, because all the vendors, they have their own customized ASIC side. And so how are you going to do that? So for Dell, you have to go to the Dell website, um, Dell portal, and from there you have to download. And for HP, you have to go to the HP side. And HP has their own customized ASIC um, side. Why HP has own ASIC side? Why Dell has their own customized ASIC side? The reason is, both vendor is taking the ESXi from VMware and then they customize it with their driver because HP has their own driver and Dell has their own driver. So, you know, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how, how you can do that on um, Dell PowerEdge R620. Um, let me share my screen and I'll walk you guys the whole process. So, if you don't know how to go to uh, their website, you can just search on Google, they'll customize the 6i 5.5. So this is actually older version, but um, I mean, I'll, I'll show you guys actually how you can do that. Or you can save 6.7 or whatever you want. It just depends on you, what's the version you're going to install. And search, and then Google will show you a lot of options. So from there, just select this one, like right click on it and open new tab. You'll be able to see this. And from there, uh, this is the ISO file. So you tell us to download the ISO file. They'll customize see VMR V square installer 6.50 of the three so customize and the ISO file. Okay. So simply click download and you're gonna download automatically. But um I already did download, as you can see here, uh, it's already downloaded. I'm going to, so after it download by default, it goes to the download folder. So it's on my download folder here. Now I need to, <clears throat> so I need to um, create a bootable disk with this ISO file. Like I need to burn it on a CD or DVD. So this is a small file, CD is fine. Or if you use DVD, it's also fine. See, and then you can uh, put this CD on the physical uh, machine. But without, without doing all this physical stuff, you can do everything remotely if you have an ID configured and if you have access on iDrive. So I have access on my iDrive. Uh, let me see, I'll show you guys here. So I already logged in there. Uh, this is my address. And after you log in, you have to go to the launch option and make sure you have HTML5 settings set up. If you don't have, just go to the settings and select the HTML5. And um, I'll show you one now on my other video. So if you want to see it fully, you can watch my other video. Um, so if anybody can click launch, it's gonna open another window like this. And in here, actually, I don't care actually right now what's the status of the server right now, but what's the my target? I have to install, right? So for installing um, operating system, whatever I say, it can be SXI, it can be any other uh, operating system, or it can be Microsoft OS, like server or anything. How are you gonna do, how are you gonna do that through? Uh, iDrive. So you just need to log into the iDrive and 
can remember uh, you have to go to the launch option launch options and from there it will open another window which is this one and from there you can click uh, connect virtual media and now you have options so you can say map cd or dvd this is a virtual cd or dvd you choose file and you have to show the location path of your downloaded file so i download here download this one right so this is my iso make sure this is my iso Let's double click and then map drive the map drive was before like this it was way out now whenever you select a file it's highlighted so click map drive and you can close down. So whenever you map drive automatically, you see here, when you just hit the map drive, this came here. Virtual media connected, device map, everything is here. Okay. So now you just need to reboot it and after that it's gonna start installing this itself. Um, uh, whenever the SXS installation is complete, and then it's going to wait for reboot. Before you reboot, you need to disconnect it because if you don't disconnect it, uh, the machine is going to start installing. If whenever you reboot, it's going to install again because the media is there already. CD is there, media is there. So you have to disconnect it after installation is done. And so what do you need? You need to restart the machine, right? So in our case, I can do uh, this unit. Actually, uh, so you can say um, this power cycle system called boot. Okay. So I just hit okay and then do the stairs here. It's rebooting now. I have some network issues, that's why. All right, so it's rebooting. So F11 for BIOS, F11, hit F11, BIOS boot manager, so here entering BIOS boot manager. Whenever you see F11, immediately hit F11 for choose the BIOS uh, boot priority. So now it's going to show you the uh, options like from where you want to put it. Don't worry about this zero drive selector or something. Actually, I am having some network issues. Which... Just give me a second. Let me fix it. All right. So actually, I'm having some network issues. So uh, I can reach my server now. Uh, basically, that's all for this video because I just want to show you guys how you can attach um, custom the better customized ISO through the iDrive. That's what my goal. Um, and installation is another process I'll show you in another video. Um, so 
after you reboot it and then hit, hit F11 and then it will give you the options from where you want to install. So you just need to select uh, virtual CD or something, virtual media. And after that, it's going to start installing. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like my video, if, if it helped you uh, to get some knowledge, uh, please give a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet my channel, please subscribe now. And you can and also don't forget to click the bell icon to get my uh, next video. Thank you, thanks for watching.